Check under your desk for a surprise. If you don't, you might be brutalized. What the hell? Someone ate half my Rice Krispie treats! I don't know who did this, but I want you to know, you're a monster, you should be ashamed of yourself. He left an I-9 core in the place. What am I going to do with this? I can't eat this. I can't eat this. I bet it was, I bet it was the Keebler Elves. I don't trust anyone that white. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Ryan Reacts. Today, we're checking out another episode of Owl House, and this episode is episode two, Witch Before Wizards. Hey, buddy. I'll have you know that in about one month, I'll be a wizard. And I take offense to that. Took me 30 years to get that. Took me 30 years. You owl humping bitch. You know what? You know what, witch lady? Can you do this? Look, I look like a bald person now. Bet you can't do that. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Holy shit. I almost fucking ate dirt. Of course, folks, like check out more from the original content creator. You can find it on Disney Plus and you can purchase it on Amazon. It wasn't a dream. Good morning, terrifying fantasy world. Good morning. <laughs> hey, whoa, what, what? The? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was it we learned in the last episode? Hey, kids, it's okay to be weird. And if you look weird, that's okay, too. I'm going to say it. 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 She's worse than Mabel. I know how you guys feel about Mabel in the comments. Oh, she's so selfish. Well, at least she learns her lesson in the future, you sicko. <laughs> Hi, Luz! <laughs> I just wish you a good morning. Jeez, hoot! What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? He can stretch! He can str I know we- I get it. He eats people. He's a dorm. Whatever. I, I got over that fact. But he stretches? He's literally the scary Thomas the Tank Engine. Or Clown Ham. That really what you want your legacy to be, Eldor? Clown Ham? Mom, it's me! I was thinking about things. I think I'm gonna go back home. All I do every day is eat people and look like Clown Ham. Now, your father was a clown ham. Don't you say that. I don't love dad anymore. He drank booze and beat me. <laughs> that was really dark and sad. Why was that the punchline? Why was the punchline that I thought, would it be funny if the owl door had an abusive dad? <laughs> what the fuck was that, brain? That's the most messed up thing ever. You see, it's funny because what you do on a door is you knock on it. So that's that's what I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa! So, slow down, kid. Being a witch doesn't happen overnight. Also, you're wrapped in a bathrobe and wearing the dirtiest traffic cone I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> but a magic staff, huh? You really want one? More than anything. Magic staff, come to me. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy again, but I was looking at the background, waiting to see something like, oh, what's that in the background? And all I saw was a jar of peppers, which I think is actually better than what I was expecting. It's funnier when Grunkle Stan had everything you would expect at a witch's house, and in a witch's house, it's everything you expect to be in Grunkle Stan's house. Also, have I mentioned how great her slippers are? They're amazing! That being said, the one on the right 100% struggles with depression. You have a woman's foot in your ass all of your life. I'm the newest character in the series. 
depression struggling bunny slipper. I don't I don't want to do this bit actually. I I feel this bit's kind of weird and awkward. Do you know what I used to do before this? I robbed 74 banks. I said, hey, you give me this money so maybe I can feel happiness in my life. And they respond, it won't do it, Mr. Bunny. It'll just make you more sad. And then I shot him. I shot all of them. Can I, can I cut this bit out? No, never. I feel like this one's uh, reaching a bit. Seeing I'm pretty sure you're never going to show back up. You know who didn't show back up? Dad! Whoa, what the f- You wanna know why? I killed him to feel alive. Holy shit, buddy slipper! Come on, man! That's too real! I'll do it again, too. You better put me in every single episode. And I also look forward to the moment where you forget how to do my voice. And then you'll look extra stupid. With me as your teacher, you'll be taking a different approach. Why do you have an opal in your tits? You'll have to work for it. I shall smite my enemies, ages 6 to 11. <laughs> Most days I sell only the finest I hate that lemon-headed freak. I learned nothing from last episode. No one wants an unoiled snake. <laughs> you wanted a dangerous magical quest? Sister, you've got one. I won't let you down, Nasita. My pet snail was in there. You let me down. Be back by nightfall or risk mortal peril. Have a nice trip. Ah, let's get this over with. You can open the door. You can open the door. Ask the owl to eat you. I didn't even burp. There was no stomach. Is, is the house the stomach? Is, 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 uh, oh god, you're making me into a Rick and Morty character. Why have you done this to me? Oh, it seems my soul has left my body. Because that's how fucking stupid that is. Just like Azora. Yeah, did Azora's path to greatness involve her delivering boil cream? <laughs> also, yes. Yes, it did. It was a side story. You know, failure gets weird. What has four hooves and wants to buy a potion? This guy. <sighs> My eyes are down here. No! <laughs> 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 Houses always belong to big whack jobs. Let's kick the package inside <laughs> and get out of here. Now that's a true statement. From Miss Ida, the owl lady. <laughs> Let's scram. Wizards are just old people with glitter in their pockets. <laughs> oh, don't knock it till you snort it, bud. The stars on his robe are sparkling. And look, there's a baby fox in his beard. <laughs> That's relatable. There's no lake with a celestial staff on the boiling aisles. I would have stolen it ages ago. Ah, uh, don't worry. A couple more months here and you won't look like such a mark. Can I have some time alone? Did she just say a wrestling term? What the hell? Hey everyone, it's Future Ryan. I was curious about the terminology of Mark and wanted to know if it was a wrestling term. So I looked it up and I got information I need, such as where Mark is in the Bible, Mark Cuban's Twitter, Mark Zuckerberg's entire photo album, Mark's Wikipedia page. Not any Marks, just Mark. Also, Mark may refer to as currency in Bosnia. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It also could be the currency of Finland from 1860 to... Okay, so I can't find anything <laughs> about it being a terminology other than wrestling.
because if you guys don't know, in wrestling, a mark is somebody who's a fan. Wrestlers call them marks. It was back in the way, way long ago when wrestling was supposed to be real. They use code words in letters so people wouldn't know what they're talking about. And one of the code words for people in the stands was mark. And thus, that's where the terminology of mark came from in wrestling. Oh, hold on a second. What we got here? A mark is the victim of a confidence trick. <laughs> Sorry. I was looking at confidence trick on wiki and it, at the bottom it just said, Hey, you might also like gaslighting. <laughs> Maybe they were right. Huh? Yeah, but she doesn't sit in the sunlight. She gets burned that way. Path will only appear to the worthy. Ooh! That's why Ida couldn't see it. But am I really worthy? No, probably not, but you are the main character, so probably, maybe, I don't know. Hootie, where'd you go? Hoot Hoot, if you want the answer that you seek, solve my riddle within a week. Oh! Okay, okay! She went to the forest towards Bonesboro! <laughs> what have you accomplished? You broke my body! Whoa. It wasn't oh. like this before. He may not be a wizard. He may be a ghost wizard. Oh, uh oh. I really don't like this. <gasps> Ew. Hum de diddle. Ask the riddle to first solve my riddle. What is my name? Hmm. Uh, Chris? That's it! You may cross the bridge! And please take this chosen one! It shall help you on your Ooh, journey! Yo! Wow. Can I shake it and then it'll tell me, like, am I gay? Uh, I think you I'm tune in next time. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> hip hip hooray! Hip hip! Oh no. <laughs> oh shit! Are you sure she came here? Hey, wake up, you! What have you done with Luce? What's your end game? <laughs> to find your pupil and steal your wrath. Look ahead and follow the path. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the cat man melted! <laughs> it's a trap. There is wonder here, and I I think I came here for a reason. Oh, she even knew the secret steps to get to it. You can get any treasure with that. That's how Indiana Jones did it. Now I have concrete proof. <laughs> no! Uh, just like real life, when you get concrete proof and it disappears into the air. He's no wizard. He's what you call a puppeteer. A demon who specializes in scamming and manipulating people. Oh, He's shit! He's loose to get to me. Hey, faster, you! You know what helps owls go faster? Giving them a concussion. Your hubris has failed you, witch apprentice! <laughs> oh, holy smokes! Okay, Luce, don't panic. This is classic chosen one biz. You just have to rescue everybody and defeat the final boss. I <laughs> am everybody. Hey, you ever play a game, PT? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a, it's a spooky uh, Silent Hill game. Yeah, you remember that baby in the in the in the, the sink? That was me when I was a child actor. That's who I am. Hi, hello, it's me, Baby Sink. Those were good times back then, but now I've grown up because. Konami left me to die in there, but I didn't. Instead, I learned the trade of puppetry. People came all over the place to see me. They said, wow, Jeff Dunham, you're sure good at this. And I said, thanks. Can I have some flesh? And they're like, okay. And I ate them because that's what this land's all about. This monster is absolutely amazing. Oh, 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 I can already tell you right now. I like the first episode. This twist just set this episode to the moon. That was such a good twist and so creepy and amazing. No! Betrayed by my own cool accessories. Preach it, sister. One second a witch gives you a fancy top hat, and then all of a sudden you've got a cat bed on your head. 
Yeah, that or was all the methamphetamines. <sighs> but I sense she wants a real fantasy. Yo! We need you here. You could be our chosen one. Yeah, you can eat our tiny foods forever. Luz. Tiny foods? Why did he look over there? He literally, this is what he did. Oh no, she's got, wait, hold on a minute now. What's this over here? Is that, is that two ants sword fighting? Oh, wow, hold on now. Whoa, wow, he won? He won? Oh God, oh, why was I not looking over there? Why is he looking over there? Well, you know what? This is the episode where we learn about ADHD. <laughs> now feel my wrath. Isn't that plastic? Okay, uh, apparently not. I mean, you ten but your tentacles still work if your puppets go away. I mean, those don't. So why didn't you do that when you showed up? You were right. He isn't mystical or magical. He's just a big slimy jerk. Ah! Have you learned nothing from the last episode about judging people about being weird? <laughs> well, that's the last time I take an outside room. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Oh my god! 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 Oh no! 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 This show literally threw me for a loop and did a story that I didn't expect in a monster. And yet still, it ended exactly how I thought it would. Okay, you can look. Wow. The bones of the aisles. <laughs> Up close, the aisles can be slimy. You showed her a dead body? That's what you want to shark with? Look at this giant dead guy I found. Whoa. His family probably misses him. Look, kid, everyone wants to believe they're chosen. But if we all waited around for a prophecy to make us special, we'd die waiting. And that's why you need to choose yourself. <laughs> this show got me so excited I made actual owl noises. Still don't like owls, but I really like this episode. This episode felt pretty okay. I was enjoying myself, but not until that ending twist. Oh, baby, was that good. What a freaking great villain. That was a fantastic villain. A demon that is a gigantic, like, octopus monster who's a puppeteer. It makes all these creepy puppeteer characters through it to trick people into going on adventures. That is absolutely an amazing concept, and I absolutely loved it. This was great. This was great. I'm telling you, once that twist came up, this episode went down here, I'd say like a 4 out of 10, went to like an 8, 9 out of 10. Like, I really didn't know where the where it was going to go, necessarily, because I've heard this story all the time, where it's just like, the your friend's just like, don't do it, and they make them feel awkward, so they go and do it, and then the person that they trusted ended up not being what they seemed the old don't trust strangers kids even though i mean that uh, no never mind that doesn't work at all because the witch was a stranger and she trusted her so i guess that's not where they were going with but when that twist came that whoo what a terrifying creature what a great design oh man i am a sucker for good monsters and that is a great one so for art, I gotta say this is a high one just because of how great those creatures were. Story-wise, was kind of a, like, hazy one. I didn't know what the show was essentially trying to say. Um, but I like the ending where she talks about it. Because it is a moral that you don't hear very often. Don't wait to be the chosen one. And I gotta say, that's a real good one. I, I really, I don't think I've seen many shows talk about this, especially for kids. Um... How waiting for you to be the chosen one uh, may make you miss your opportunity. 
Go out there, and if you have a dream, go for it. Don't wait for someone to tell you you're the chosen one. You make it happen through your hard work and your dedication. So, hell yeah, I actually really like that part. The moral was actually really well done. That being said, though, it, it did kind of feel like the moral kind of got messy because it felt also like you shouldn't seek adventure, uh, which is a weird one because, like, e even if you could say the moral was you shouldn't wait for someone to tell you that you're special or maybe the moral is you're not special. <laughs> That's a great one to teach the old youngsters. But she was actively looking for it from her and she kept, she was looking for it. So really... You can't really say that she was waiting for someone to say she's the chosen one. I don't know. The, the, the moral, I like it. I like it at the end, but I feel like it's kind of mixed, mishy, wishy-washy. And I'd like to hear your opinion on it because I don't like the, the idea of telling kids don't go for adventure because adventure is what makes people go and do what they want to do. Like, go do... Like, if you have a dream, go for it. And if it's fun... Like, the journey there, that's 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 okay. It's not wrong to go uh, on an adventure. But also, you don't want to be tricked. So, I don't know. I, I, I like it, but also, I'm not 100% sure if it was done quite right. Because I didn't get what it was till the very end when she said that. The comedy was very good, too. I found a lot of the jokes were really making me laugh. I really love that beginning joke of just, Hello, world. Hello. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, the intro felt very much like a dollar store Gravity Falls intro. But then again, is that really fair? Because Gravity Falls intro is one of the catchiest one at all. But it's something about the way it's played and the instruments and the it's kind of spooky, but it also isn't as catchy as Gravity Falls. Not even close. And also, it's kind of just like, look at me flying around on my thingamajig. I feel like you could have done a lot more gags. Or like in Gravity Falls, you have things that's just like, look at all this stuff that's happening that may happen in another episode. And you go, oh, what's that going to be about? But it kind of was a pretty bland intro, if you ask me. But then again, I don't really care. Intros are kind of, if they're good, they're good. If they're bad, I'm just going to skip them. I, I watch anime, guys. You never watch the intro. That's why there's always a skip intro button. But yeah, all around, I really found this episode enjoyable. I thought it was a great watch. Anyways, folks, if you enjoy, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, and write a comment on what you thought of the episode. Mostly, I want to know what you guys think of the moral the one. Do you think it gets a little messy with how the episode was kind of structured? I know I'm overanalyzing this, but uh, I'm truly curious what you guys think in the end. And also, just around the episode, did you guys also think that monster was fantastic? Because... I sure as heck did. Anyways, folks, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.